Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. What you're looking at here? It's a Nintendo 64 emulator. Uh, you can get these emulators from a website called the uh, MU Paradise. Uh, I'll leave the link down below. It's really simple. You just select which emulator would you like to choose, and then there's a variety of different uh, emulators that you can choose from. But you have to remember, some of these emulators are uh, they work. Some of them they don't depending on who is releasing them. You know, there's a bunch of different emulator posts. What the MU Paradise is, is there's a bunch of different independent uh, individuals out there uh, creating these emulators and they post them on the uh, MU Paradise. Uh, and some of them, you know, they work, some of them they don't, depending on what type of uh, program they're using. But all in all, majority that I have tested, they work. The only ones I had a problem with, uh, problem was with the uh, Commodore 64 tapes uh, and Commodore uh, 64, uh, what you call it, uh, software. But all in all, the, the Nintendo 64, uh, NES, uh, Super NES, Genesis, Sega, Saturn, uh, all of those, uh, they work. With PlayStation, it's a bit tricky. With PlayStation, you have to uh, implement some other features as well, so it's more complex. But I'm not that really like uh, that much interested in PlayStation emulator because the majority of PlayStation games I already have. Uh, but like these old ones, I'm interested, like Nintendo 64, uh, uh, Super NES, uh, and NES. You can get it like with the emulator right here. And another cool feature about playing these Nintendo 64 games is, uh, for example. They're going to look much better with the uh, with a GPU and uh, more powerful CPU on your computer. Like right here, this looks much cleaner, more sharper, because I'm using a much more powerful GPU and CPU to do so. You know what I mean? And uh, let me show you right here. You can also adjust the controls if you want to. I'm using a one hand right now, so it's, it's a bit it's a bit difficult, you know. But it's very clean. It looks very nice. Uh, you don't have any issues with it. That's because you're using a very powerful. Uh, uh, in this case, I'm using an Alienware, so I'm using a very powerful. Uh, GPU uh, GTX 1070 with 16 gigs of RAM and uh, memory on board and 8 gigs uh, GDDR5 memory on the graphics card it's a dedicated graphics card so it looks it looks much better hold on let me get closer There we go. And you can play a bunch of Nintendo 64 games. Uh, I have Madden. I have Resident Evil 2. I'm going to show you really quick. This is uh, GoldenEye, and this is one of my favorites. If you guys never played GoldenEye, then you guys need to uh, definitely play it. This was a this was a big deal back in the days uh, when this game was released in '96. You know, it was considered one of the best uh, shooter games out there in 3D, and uh, it was one of the best games on Nintendo 64 next to Zelda. All right, so let me show you some other games that I have here on Nintendo 64. I have Madden, I have uh, Resident Evil 2. Let me show you. So pretty much this is the name of the emulator. Uh, it's called Project 64. Mm, this is the one I use. It's really simple. All you have to do is just download this uh, emulator. You have to extract it from a zip file. And then you go to your, uh, your software that you have downloaded, your game that you have downloaded, and then you... Uh, you click on it. It's really simple. You click open room. And then I'm going to choose uh, 
let's go with the Madden. I have a Madden football here. I'll click on Madden. And I'm going to open it. Basically, you need to download the ROM. The, the ROM. The ROM. Uh, this is uh, how these uh, cartridges worked back then with the ROM. R-O-M. ROM. If uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. I mean, it's been a while, man. It's like a disc ROM. Or ROM. <laughs> so there's Madden right here. Madden... Uh, Madden 64 it was a pretty good Madden back then you know you can have him in, in full screen if you like you have that option you know and it looks pretty good looks clean looks very sharp looks very nice You can uh, click start button right here. You can do an exhibition. We can do an exhibition really quick. Uh, Fox, or Green Bay, whatever. We'll just start something. I want to choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose Fox, Bor, really quick. This is when Madden used to uh, do uh, commentary, which I miss. You know. But it works, as you can see right here. It has no issues. It works really well. Let's take a look at the keys to today's game. You can put it in a full screen if you like. You don't have to watch like this. You just press the Alt and Enter. And it's going to go to a, to a full screen right here. And you're good to go. You can also connect this to your TV. And here we are. Then we make the call. Heads or tail. So, uh, as you see, it works. You can c customize controllers. There's options where you can uh, customize certain controllers Controllers that you have. If you have a PlayStation controller, if you have a Xbox controller, you can customize that Xbox controller. Use a controller instead. And then you can connect it to your TV and then play it on your TV. You know what I mean? And here's the Resident Evil. I got Resident Evil as well on Nintendo 64. Uh, they, they, get that. they have a bunch of games, uh, you know, that you can download. Uh, I'm going to show you the website, the name of the website where you can go and you can do it. I'm pretty sure you guys know about this, you know. Just have to wait for it to load up. There it is. There's Resident Evil 2. And you can load the game, you can start the new game, click right here, and we're going to start with a new game. There it is, new game. I'll go with, uh, with Claire. So I'll click Claire. Violent, uh, we'll put it high. Medium high. Blood color is going to be red. They did this because they, they wanted to, uh... For the kiddies, you know, if, if the kids uh, in Nintendo 64, they were using this game, they wanted to kind of give them that, that option, so, yeah. And again, you can adjust this, you can put it in a full screen, it doesn't have to be this way, you can adjust it, you know, to fit your screen. But, uh, these emulators on PC work well. I have tested uh, Super NES, uh, I have tested NES, I have tested... Uh, Nintendo 64. I'm also going to try to test uh, 3DO by Panasonic. And uh, like I said, I got a bunch of games. Commodore 64 is a bit tricky. I had some issues with Commodore 64. I haven't tried Spectrum. Uh, but you don't have to go to the MU Paradise. There's other websites you can go to to find these uh, emulators Okay, that are out there. So... And here you can choose like uh, what type of resolution would you like? Would you like to use uh, uh, anisotropic filtering, full screen aliasing? So you do have options here that you can choose with these emulators on how you want your games to look. And uh, one advantage of using an emulator on PC is the fact that it's going to look much much better 
resolution wise it's going to look much much better graphic graphic wise it's going to look much cleaner and better and more polished so you know that's the one advantage of it as you can see clearly right here now you have to remember when uh when this came out this was uh not a widescreen game this was like a you know the four by three uh tv screen so but you can you can actually squeeze this out if you want to there, there's uh, options of you doing it like that. As you can see, it looks very nice. looks very good. It works. Uh, oh, no. She died. <clears throat> I'm just showing you this uh, with, my, with my camera really quick. Okay, I don't have time to, to put the tripod on now and play this. I'm just giving you a little, like, demos. I also have the SNES. Uh, it's the same thing. You just download the emulator, and uh, then you download those uh, uh, ROM softwares, which are the games, and you load them up, and you're good to go. So, same thing here. Here's another emulator that I'm using. This is the uh, uh, Super Nintendo. SNES and they got everything here honestly I mean uh, whatever you can find on that console you can find it here look the one advantage of having a console the one advantage of having a console like this is you can take it with you okay you don't have to bring a computer you can take it with you and SNES it's even smaller it's the size of this uh, Terminator 2 uh, jacket the uh, CD jacket so you can take this with you you don't need internet, you can plug it into any TV and you can enjoy and play all these games. So that's the one advantage of having a like a console like this, Sega Genesis versus the emulator. Emulator, emulator you can take a PC with you, you have to customize the controls. This is pretty much there for you, easy to plug in and play. You, you're read, ready to go, so there's still benefit of you buying a, a SNES a console. And NES console as well. Both of these, you know, first of all, they're small, they're easy to carry, so there's still benefit of buying this on top of using the original uh, cartridges. So, here, let me show you some games that I have here. Uh, I'm gonna load, you click load, and then you choose which game would you like. Uh, I'm gonna go with the, uh, so let me see, Top Gear 2. Top Gear 2, that's one of my favorites. So I'm going to load it up, and uh, we're good to go, and there it is. It loads really quickly, fairly quick. <laughs> there it is right here. Start. Uh, we'll do a one-player game. We'll click Start. And here we are. We're going to go race. So if you guys never use these emulators, I highly recommend that you use these emulators, because... Uh, I mean, you know, why not? Why wouldn't you? It's not like you have to pay anything. It's free. Here we go. This is on our Super Nintendo. Here we go. Hold on. I just have to remember which buttons they are. Hold on. So here you go. It works well, runs fast. No issues, no problem. And you can also adjust the graphics, you know, you can also make this game look much cleaner, much faster, so... You can run this up to 60 FPS and, and it's just ridiculous. Alright, let me show you another game really quick. 
So you go up here and you load another game. It's very easy. You click load and uh, let's try Predator, okay? Click on the Predator right here and load it up and uh, we're good to go. And the Predator is going to load up right now. This is the uh, Nintendo Predator. I personally like uh, Sega Genesis Predator and I personally like uh, Commodore 64 Predator. But this one's okay. Anyway, for some reason, I couldn't load it. It didn't work properly. It doesn't matter. I can always fix that. Uh, but uh, let's see what else we got. Top Gear. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Conquer's Bad Fury. That's for the 64. I think so. Uh, see what else. We got Resident Evil. Uh, pa, 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 pa. I mean, I have some, like, I have Ultimate Fighter. Uh, we can check that out really quick. Uh, let's see if it works. There's Ultimate Fighter right there. It's gonna run really quick. Oh, by the way, guys, I won't be able to do uh, that live stream at 3 o'clock because... Uh, I have to watch the football game. Uh, I forgot today is the football game Patriots versus Jaguars. So it's it's like a very important game for me. I got to watch it. So I won't be able to do it. Maybe after 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Maybe at 6 o'clock I'll do a couple of hours. But uh, I totally forgot about the game, guys. You know, I totally forgot that the game is on today. So that's the reason why. So anyway, these are the emulators. Uh, like I said, I also got the uh, NES emulator. Uh, I can quit this. Let me show you NES emulator really quick. So here's the uh, NES emulator. This is the uh, Nintendo NES emulator. I'm using a Predator, Predator game. You know, I wasn't like a huge fan of the uh, NES Predator. I like the Commodore 64 and Genesis Predator much better. Commodore 64 Predator to me was the best. This one was like a Super Mario, I man. It wasn't even, it wasn't even true to the, uh, the Predator. So the Commodore 64 Predator is the best Predator, the one on Commodore 64. But this one's okay. You know, it was alright. Nothing to write home about, you know. Even the music sucked, man. <laughs> so I wasn't a big fan of the uh, Predator for NES. You see, it, it was ridiculous. So, look at him, man. It looked horrible. It looked like a Super Mario, dude. It doesn't even look like original Predator, man. So, the one on... Uh, Commodore 64 is the Predator you want to get. However, there's some other cool games. There's Metal Gear here. Let me show you Metal Gear really quick. Anyway, let me show you the website. This is the website you have to go to. It's called the uh, MU Paradise. MU Paradise, you go here, and this is where you download all of your uh, emulators. You go over here, basically, and you uh, choose which emulators you want. You want uh, Nintendo DS, you want Nintendo 64, PlayStation 2. There's a chocolate of emulators. Uh, there's a huge list of emulators. Uh, so, you got a lot of stuff to choose from. Commodore 64 tapes is the one I've been having trouble with. Like, I wasn't able to, like, <clears throat> get get that uh, properly to run. I need to do some more research on that. Uh, and also, I've been having issues with... Uh, with Sega Dreamcast and Sony PlayStation 2. With PlayStation, it's a bit tricky as well. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to kind of jump the hoops before you can start it running, but, uh, it's not, it's not difficult. It just takes a lot of time. You know, you have to spend a lot of time, like 20 minutes just to set it up. But once you set it up, then you can use games like Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Gran Turismo 1 and 2. So, you know, <clears throat> if you're into that stuff. But yeah, man, you should definitely use these emulators and the PC Go. This is the best one that I know. Uh, and then here, once you choose an emulator, once you download the emulator, you go over here to the uh, OS games. These are your OS games, ROMs. 
and you choose which ones you want. You want PlayStation, you want uh, SNES, you can choose which one you want. So go to the uh, this website, uh, muparadise.com, and, and there you're going to find... It's all pretty much explanatory there. They'll explain everything for you in detail, how to do it, how to use it. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you like this video. Like I said, I cannot do a live stream till maybe later on, maybe 6 o'clock, because I have to watch that football game. Uh, New England Patriots versus Jaguars. Okay, I'm a Patriots fan, so what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, and thank you for the support. I appreciate it.